It is about three elementary age boys. I have three elementary age boys, so that wasn't too hard to come up with. They are in kindergarten, second grade, and third grade in this book. That's because my boys were in kindergarten, second grade, and third grade when I wrote the book. So I wasn't being very creative there. But I got more creative when I wrote the story. Now, they are a secret detective agency. Their parents know nothing about what they do. Okay? They are helped by their crazy grandpa. Grandpa Jack is one of the characters in the book. He's nuts. He left home when he was 13 years old to go find adventure. Took off, ditched school, went to Alaska. Okay. He helps these boys keep the secret from their parents, and he helps them solve adult crimes. Crimes that if you saw something happening, you would call the police. A bad guy is stealing something. Okay. These guys don't call the police. This grandpa helps these three boys that are younger than you guys catch the bad guys on their own. Okay? So he's really not all there. All right? So this is the book that we're going to talk about. I'm going to use examples from this book to prove to you that you can be an author. We're going to start with Mark's three essential elements for any book. Or, mm t -fab. Say it with me. Mm -ti -fab. You gotta really lean into the hymn. Mm -ti -fab. That's a, that's slightly better. Let's try it again. Mm -ti -fab. Pretty good. Now let's just hear the guys. Go on. Alright, just the ladies. Come on, really lean into it. Mm -ti -fab. Alright, they are, the three essential elements for any book are setting, characters, and story. And I've listed them in order of least important to most important. They're all important, but setting is less important than characters, and characters are less important than story. Okay? They're all very important, you have to have all three, but story is the most important one. Okay? Setting, where the story takes place. That's easy, right? Everybody knows what the setting of a book is? Yeah. Sometimes they have multiple settings. This book has pretty much one. Almost the entire book takes place at their house. Yeah. Characters. Who's in the story? Again, that's pretty simple. A really good way to come up with good characters is to listen to the people that you know. Your parents, 